All right, so here is a video of how to add sermons from the old site to the new one. So here's the new site. We're in the back end on this dashboard. We're going to go down to sermons. And then here are going to be all the sermons, and we're going to go to add new. But before that, what I did, uh, here are the links I have open. Um, I opened up one of Shar's sermons she already created, just to kind of see the, the layout and the template um, that I can follow. Uh, the other tabs I have open, one is BibleGateway.com. That is where I will get links to the passages. The other one I have open is Calvary's website. We'll get to that. And then the last one I have open, it's called Anything to mp3.com so I'm going to go back to we were on the back end dashboard went down to sermons and I'm going to click add new now all these sermons are going to populate from newest or oldest created to newest so what I started is I went to Calvary's current website, worship, listen to sermons. And I scrolled all the way to the bottom, and I'm just starting for the very first one and working my way up. So I already created these three. So here I am on January 26th, 2014. So I'm going to open that in a new tab. He came to Jesus by night. There's the sermon. I'm going to copy that link. And then I'm going to go to this last tab which is at anything to mp3.com and I'm going to paste it in that section and convert it. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I don't have access to these mp3 files. Uh, there is there's a computer at the church that has all these and maybe it's well organized and so you won't have to do any of this step, any of these steps. But in case that you don't have access to those files or you can't find them, um, this is just a, takes a few steps, but it's another way around that. So anything to mp3.com, posted that URL, it downloaded the file, um, and I just clicked this huge green rectangle um, because it converted it. Now it's going to download this mp3 to my desktop. So there it is. Um, I'm going back to the very first page, which is Add New Sermon. I'm going to enter the title. Char likes the title as, this one says Sunday. The other ones were just month, day, year. Now I'm going to reference the Calvary website, and it was, so it'll be January 26, 2014. January 26, 2014. Scroll down, she also likes Sermon by, pastor's name, in the passage. So we have Sermon by. And this one is by Pastor Andrew Ronovic. Ronovic. Let me spell that wrong. Pastor Andrew Ronovic. I got it right. And the passage is John 3, 1 to 21. So John 3, 1 to 21. Now I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go to that BibleGateway.com and enter it at the very top. So paste it. Hit enter. And they're populated. So now this URL is going to come straight to that John chapter 3, verse 1 through 21. So I'm going to copy that URL link, go back to add new sermon, and here John 3, 1 through 21. And here at the top, here's that link um, in this toolbar. It looks like a little link icon. It'll say insert dash edit link. Click that. 
paste your new URL, link text, perfect, and make sure you click open link in a new tab. And we're going to click add link. So there we are, Pastor Andrew. There is the passage with the link attached. And now we're going to go to add media. Now here is where, um, if you already have those MP3 files, you can just skip those anything to mp3.com steps and just go to upload file, select file, and find it. Uh, within your computer, wherever you have it stored. Otherwise, I just downloaded it, so here it is. I'm going to open that, and it's going to load in the back end. There, it's completed loading. I'm going to insert that into the post. Now, in order for this to populate within the sermon archives, what you need to do is here's sermon categories on the right side and you just have to click that. You have to select the Calvary part. That's just kind of telling it um, in the back end of the website to populate that amongst the sermon archives. Now we go to sermon details. The speaker was Pastor Andrew. Now the sermon date, when we open that up, here at the top left, we'll click March 2016, and it'll kind of jump back. Now, here's a little slide on the right side, and we just have to go up to 2014, and there we can select January, so we're in January 2014, and it's Sunday the 26th. Now we'll double check everything, Pastor Andrew, the date, 1-26-2014. It's categorized under Calvary, 2614, Pastor Andrew, Passage, MP3. Now we're going to publish that. So now that has been published. And because it is the most recent one added, if we go to... The website then we scroll down there it is January 26 2014 and that's going to populate as the most recent one because it's the most recently added um, it doesn't matter on the date added and there's also an archive section which we will place within the menu bar but here is kind of the tricky part um, is that these these are all going to load for the most recently added. So this is the first one char added. It is always going to be at the bottom and everyone after that that's added is going to populate on top, on top, on top, on top. So because I just created this, it's going to populate first. Um, in order to stay organized, I would just started on the old Calvary site and I'm working my way backwards from January 5th, 2014. Um, so because of that, I mean, if you if you honestly wanted to start from January 5th, 2014, that's going to be like 100 and around 100 and maybe around 110 different sermons you need to add. And that'll take quite a long time. If you want to do that, that's fine. I would kind of suggest maybe just starting, I don't know, somewhere around September 2015 and adding those. 20 some, 20. Um, it's up to you. Uh, 